Get out. Thanks, White One. If not for you, that might have taken me much longer. And I need to see Leif. The bitch has nearly ripped his innards out. And we two are all that's left of my crew. All right. You might not have heard. I'm Yalmar on Crate. And I'll never forget you helping me in a time of need. Geralt of Rivia. The Geralt of Rivia? Like in the ballad about the sorceress and the witcher. You're still alive. Looks like it. Right? Well, forgive me. Just thought that all happened long ago. My da used to tell me stories of your adventures. So, what are you doing on Onvik? Your crew. What happened to them? Ah, it all started with a storm. You see, then came the blasted sirens. I had a Hornwall horn to drive them off, but one night it just disappeared. Next morning, the giant ambushed us, crushed half my men, hurled Arvid against the rocks, tucked Vicky under his arm. Just four made it here. But I suppose if it had all gone smoothly, it would have made for a dreadfully short ballad about our heroic adventures. Seems more doomed than heroic to me. No. That's just the gods looking to see what metal we're made of. They'll soon get their answer. Your father sent me. He needs you on Ardskellig. Impossible. Da knows I'll not return till I kill the giant. Situation's changed. The fate of all Skellige will be decided on Ardskellig. They're getting ready to choose a new king. The fate of Skellige is being decided here. If I accomplish this deed, it'll mean the gods have chosen me to rule. The other claimants are already waiting at Kaer Trolda. Mm. Seems I must hurry then. Time to face the giant. Coming with? Take it you're gonna fight the giant whether I help you or not. Of course. But first I need to patch up Leif. Move him where he won't be bothered. Leif's dead. What? Nah, he's just unconscious. Lost a bit of blood, you know? He's dead. Trust me. Swore he'd sink his blade into the giant's heart. Swore it on the bones of his ancestors. Let's go. Hurry now! Pick up the pace! Just like crack. I'm telling you, plow an enormous horse, son he is. So I heard.
can't believe I finally got the bastard! Haven't gotten him yet. Geralt, help me smash that! We're sure to reach the giant's cave this way! Getting colder. Gotta be close. now. One odd step and you can wake him. Hey, quick! Let me out before he wakes! The key should be around here somewhere. Wait. Know what they call Viggy? The loon. For good reason, too. Best he stay in there till we finish with the giant. What? You out of your bloody mind, Uncrit? I thought he was your comrade. He is. Which is how I know what he's like to do. Guess you should stay in the cage then. What? I'll not forget this on great. You want all the glory to yourself? Let me out right now! Blame yourself? Viggy wasn't exactly the predictable type. As soon as he was out, he could have run at the giant brandishing knot, but his fists and his prick. No telling what would have happened. Fight might have not gone our way. Thanks for your help, White Wolf. Geralt the Giant Slayer. I'll make sure the Skald said it in song. Yalmar the Giant Slayer sounds better. It was your venture. You deserve the glory. Hmm. Believe you're right. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Want to look around some more? In that case, I'll meet you on the beach, near the port.
Han Hinders fell, Geralt and Yen learned that Ciri had returned to the Isles. She'd rejoined her friend, the Masked Mage. They had boarded a boat and sailed off in an unknown direction. The boat had returned, one passenger on board, a creature as mindless as it was hideous. One of Skellige's Jarls captured the poor beast, then sold it to a merchant from Novigrad. On Hinders fell, Geralt and Yen learned that Ciri had returned to the Isles. She'd rejoined her friend, the Masked Mage. They had boarded a boat and sailed off in an unknown direction. The boat had returned, one passenger on board, a creature as mindless as it was hideous. One of Skellige's Jarls captured the poor beast, then sold it to a merchant from Novigrad. Hurry now! Pick up the pace! Just like crack. I'm telling you, plow an enormous horse on he is. So I heard. Geralt, help me smash that! We're sure to reach the giant's cave this way! Step and you can wake him. Hey, quick! Let me out before he wakes! Key should be around here somewhere. Wait. Know what they call Viggy? The loon. For good reason, too. Best he stay in there till we finish with the giant. What? You out of your bloody mind, Uncrate? I thought he was your comrade. He is. Which is how I know what he's like to do. Let's free him. Giant's pretty big, looks pretty mean. We could use an extra blade. Even one swung by a madman? I heard that on crit! Let me out right now! Wait here. I'll look for the key. Hinders fell, Geralt and Yen learned that Ciri had returned to the Isles. She'd rejoined her friend, the Masked Mage. They had boarded a boat and sailed off in an unknown direction. The boat had returned, one passenger on board, a creature as mindless as it was hideous. One of Skellige's Jarls captured the poor beast, then sold it to a merchant from Novigrad. Let me 
Thanks, brother. I remember that. Uh, let's get out of here. Uh, right. Just as soon as I kill him. Bastard. Thanks for your help, White Wolf. Geralt the Giant Slayer. I'll make sure the Skald said it in song. Sure sounds better than the Butcher of Blaviken. So be it. Let's get out of here. Wanna look around some more? In that case, I'll meet you on the beach, near the port.
Come on, Roach. Gonna head back to Ard Skellig? Aye. After all, I'm to be crowned. I killed a giant, won back Onrik, and lost my entire crew. Who else has put forth a claim? Blue Boy Lugos, surely. And Otrig, Svanriga. And Ceres. Ceres? Me says? But she's... Surprised everyone. And Da? Did he support her? Let her set off on some mad expedition? Wasn't pleased. Especially since Ceres didn't mention it to him beforehand. Nor to me. She sailed off to Speakerog. Alone. Alone? What on earth was she thinking? Set out to help Udelwick. Don't think she can do it? Oh God, Ceres. Ah, Witcher. You wouldn't happen to be heading to Speakerog by chance? Yeah, I plan to go there. Good. Thanks, Geralt. I hope we meet again. Farewell, Uncrate. Ah, Geralt! How are things? You and Siri, as I remember, you two grew up together, at least for a while. Aye. Spent half her childhood in the Isles. Always at my heels she was. Scrawny wee thing. But her leaps on ice skates. Why, none of us could rival them. Tried to outdo her once. Smashed me mouth on a rock. And then you went to Krach and announced you'd agreed to wed. You hear of that? Aye. We had twelve winters on us. Both. Any thought of continuing that romance? Me dow whipped it out of me head. <laughs> Wonder what it'd be like to see her now. Got another voyage in mind? Of course. Ice Giant was just the beginning. Besides, I got all kinds of horse sons already saying he wasn't that big. What about the folk of Undvik? You and your men were gonna help them return to their isle and rebuild Urskar. Ceres will take care of that. Farewell, Oncrate. Geralt, how are things? Farewell, Uncrate.
Don't cross our lads. You're looking to buy something. Well, you're in for a surprise. We're just as well stocked as any land-bound shop in Novograd. Come on, let's do some trading. So long. You're looking to buy something. Well, you're in for a surprise. We're just as well stocked as any land-bound shop in Novograd. How about a few rounds of cards? Gwent, specifically.
Vagrant. Can't see the truth. It's about that ache. Fuck me. Surprise you, but since you are Ram's head suit, well, my dad's off. Just don't eat up all the eyes. 